Mattel has always tried to make some sort of mini cars toy line, and I don't think any of them have ever came close to succeeding like the Mini Racers line has over the years. I mean, we're going on, what, seven years now? Wow, almost seven years since the Mini Racers line was started, and now we're getting some very obscure characters in the line, like you might be able to see right there. We're getting tons of race cars and all kinds of McQueen variants now. I mean, there's just so much going for the Mini Racers line, but you know what? I think that three packs are lacking a little bit, in this year anyways, in 2023. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I've got five Mini Racer three packs, of course, to review to you guys. And obviously we'll unbox them and everything. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty good day. So welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. Hope you're all having a good day as well. I know I certainly am here. Got a bunch of Mini Racers three packs to dive into here. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So I was kind of unsure if I'd review these. I wasn't sure if I'd do a big giant unboxing like I'm doing, or should I review them separately? And I think that some of them are just too boring to review them separately, so I decided to break it in, because I actually have nine three-packs, but uh, I've decided to do an unboxing right now of these five. These are the cars one, two, and three three-packs, and then I've got four cars in the road three-packs that we'll review on another video. That's for another day, but those ones are much more exciting, so I figured I'd break it up into two parts. Anyways, though, got the classic cars packaging for Mini Racers. Mini Racers logo up there. Got McQueen and Mater driving down a big red road. Very cool. Kind of like orangey, I guess. They've changed it slightly over the years. You know, it used to be McQueen, Cruz, and Jackson Storm. Then they changed it to McQueen, Mater, and Jackson Storm. Now it's just McQueen and Mater. But pretty nice. Metal logo down there because they are made of metal. I think this is like the only... <laughs> packaging that deserves to have the metal logo on it because I think people in a store, it's like the average, you know, person walking, you know, looking for cars toys for their kid probably might not realize that these are metal, so you probably deem that logo on them. But yeah, this three pack, this is the only one we have from the first cars movie. Nothing too special. Got some cars in it. I mean technically all of them I don't have because I don't have a very big mini racers collection. But yeah, uh, it's got Cruz and Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson and Ramon. Just the Classic versions of Doc and Ramon, but I don't have those ones. I only have the Fabulous Doc, or the Fabulous Hudson Horn, I should say, and the uh, Metallic Purple Ramon, so uh, that'll be kind of nice, I guess, but they are pretty basic. Pretty boring. I got this one mostly just for Cruz and McQueen, but, yeah, thought I'd get them anyways, because, you know, I got all these from Mr. Doc, if you don't know. I had a big haul unboxing everything I got from him. I got five singles as well, then he threw in an extra single, too, that he signed, so that was very nice of him. But yeah, he went out to look for all these for me, and he found them all. Every single one I asked him to get. I think these are all from case Y and Z of Mini Racer 3 packs, so that's cool. Ramon, Cruz and Lane McQueen, and Doc Hudson on the back. See their stock images, but obviously none of them are like circled or anything, because none of them are actually new. So, <laughs> kind of unfortunate. Kind of sad, like if you already had these guys. But I mean, Cruz and McQueen's nice, but they easily could have switched up to Ramon. Maybe, like, I don't know, switch Doc out for something a little more exciting. But, overall, not too bad. These two right here are the ones I'm really looking forward to, though. This one and that one, the Cars 2 3-packs. This one's got a brand new one, Jeff Corvette in it, obviously. Then it's got Lightning McQueen with racing wheels and Carlo Veloso. So, I only have this one, the World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen, or Lightning McQueen with racing wheels, whatever you want to call them. Then they call them... Lightning McQueen with the racing wheels in the back. We'll see in a second, though. Carlo was released last year, I believe. And Jeff is also available in the blind boxes. But he is new to the year, so that's cool. I like that they're giving Cars to some attention this year in the Mini Racers diecast line. See, he is circled, so that means he's new. Kind of odd that they don't actually, like, say new for 2023, though. I think that would help people actually realize he's new a little more than them just circling him. And then, yeah, there's the other stock images. Pretty cool. I mean, the packaging for Mini Racers is very, very basic. There's not really much going on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Might have uh, all these going down like dominoes here, because <laughs> that one was like holding up them all. But now we take it away. Now these ones just want to fall. That's okay. This one's really cool, though. Got brand new, another brand new one for 2023. It's Professor Z, of course. Very surprised that they are doing Professor Z in the line. <laughs> Then it's obviously got Mater and Holly Shipwell as well. 
Oh, yeah, I'm very excited to get Mater. Not so much. I don't need another Mater. That's for sure. But pretty cool. Tree pack. Very cool, actually. I remember earlier in the year we saw an image got leaked online of a prototype for this Professor Z Mini. And everyone just was completely blown away by it. He's probably going to end up being the best one. I got his die cast somewhere around here. Actually, where the heck it went now? It's gone. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It was right there. <laughs> I forgot I was hiding behind this. <laughs> there he is. But, yeah, very cool. See his stock image on the back. All the stock images. He's circled because he's new, obviously. Hmm. Very cool. Well, it's funny how, you know, they haven't really ever re-released Professor Z, and now they're <laughs> releasing him as a mini racer, so hopefully they end up doing him as just a 155 scale diecast again, but who the heck knows anymore. And then here's another one that's actually new to the year. There's not all that many of them, as you can see. It's only actually three, I think, in all these three packs here. So out of uh, how many would that be? 24 mini racers? Well, we have 3, 6, 9... 12, 15, okay, 15, not 24, what am I saying? Uh, so out of 15, we only have three new ones. That's not that great, but there's a lot of ones I didn't have, so not that bad. This one's from Cars 3, of course, and it's got the exclusive Lightning McQueen with headset there. You can also call him Crew Chief Lightning McQueen, or whatever you want. But he is brand new to the year. They haven't done him as a real 155 scale diecast yet, so very interesting. I was pretty surprised when I saw this one. I saw that this three pack will be coming back next year though, but instead of, because yeah, it's got Rusty's Cruise and Jackson's Storm in it too, Snorfest, I don't need any of them, but I think next year they're going to be switching out Jackson's Storm for Sterling, so that one would have been better for me, because I actually don't have Sterling, but whatever. Figured I'd get it, because why not? This one's probably my least favorite one, even though it contains a new car, technically. Just a Car Street McQueen with the headset and a different expression, but it's, you know, it's nice that they change the expression at least. They do call him Light McQueen with headset. I thought they called him Crew Chief McQueen. Guess not. Pretty cool though. And then here's the last one, which just has a bunch of re releases, but for me, it's actually not that bad at all. Three next gens that I don't have, so that's pretty cool. Got Ryan inside Laney, Barry D. Pedal, and flipped over, so the intersection next gen, the blinker next gen, and what's that, the RPM next gen. All very cool ones, flipped over especially, because his die cast is always rare. Not as much anymore, because he was released in 2022 as a single, but I've got all these cars to the side here, off camera, you guys can't see, but all these cars, like all the 155 scale versions of these cars, so we can compare them later, but yeah, it's going to be a pretty good day here. We've got a ton of mini racers to unbox. Here's a look at the back. Yeah, technically none of them are new. But I think that Flipped Over was released pretty sparingly in the past, although I'm not sure. I don't think his mini racer is really worth that much, but still, I don't know if any of these are, but I don't have very many of them. Out of all these, I only have Jackson Storm, that Rusty's Cruise Mater, that World Grand Prix McQueen, and that's actually it. <laughs> so I only have four of them, which is not that bad. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this part of the video. I think it's time to unbox all these. This is going to be a big unboxing, so why don't you guys sit back, relax, and I don't know, which one am I going to unbox first? I guess we'll have to go in consecutive order of the films. So, yeah, we'll start with this one, open them all up one by one, and I'll be right back with these guys all opened up.
Wow, it's like a color bomb just went off in the car's garage. Look at all these different mini racers. Looking very, very nice, shiny, colorful. I'm loving them. They all look very, very cool. So cool to see some Cars 2 characters, like actual new releases from Cars 2 as mini racers. That's pretty awesome. Professor Z, Jeff Corvette. Like, I honestly never thought they'd do characters like that when the line started. I thought it was going to be something for Cars 3. And they just kind of, like, phase out the line after, like, a year or so after Cars 3. But, no, they've been... Going very, very strong with new cars in the Mini Racers line ever since 2017. So that's awesome. Who are we going to start with, though? I guess we'll just start with, you know, the Cruising McQueen pack. Go in movie order again. I think that makes the most sense. So let's try to clear the table off a little. Get these guys all looking good back there. I'll be facing the front and center of attention cars here. And, yeah, we got a lot of... A lot of stuff going on on the table today, so this is, might get a little messy. But that's okay, that's how we like it here on the Cars Garage. So who are we going to start with? I guess we'll, might as well start with the best, Cruisin' Lightning McQueen. He actually looks very nice, though. I really like how he has the same expression as the 155 scale diecast version of him. Looking off to the right still, very nice. Beautiful metallic paint job he has. Obviously different from the diecast a little bit. A little darker, but that might just be because... Ah, this is a Chinese version. I think that's probably why. The rims are a little less detailed because, I mean, usually they just do like a flat rim for the mini racers, which is okay. They're very small, so I don't really blame them. Still looks good. They did do the white walls, so that's nice. Cool little side decal there. Matches the 155 scale. Oops. <laughs> that's a good thing about this material here now. Look at that. No damage to the car. I can drop it all I want and no damage, so that's cool. Ah, uh, the windows, very light, but that's kind of how they are on all the minis, I think, because they don't have plastic window inserts. No window bars, though, on this one, so that's a little mistake there, I think. Yeah, I believe he's supposed to have that, obviously. I don't see yeah, I think, right? Well, I mean, he has it in his race car form. I don't think he ever takes that part off. It wouldn't really make much sense, but they, you know, they always get the little details. Like, they colored the gas cap. They got the roof flaps up there. Like, for such a small car, it's amazing that they're able to pack that much detail into it. Really cool. Nice to see. It shows that they care about the line, I think. S20 on the bottom. Very nice. All right. Time for Ramon. There's nothing too special. I'm sure you've seen Ramon. He was released way back in 2017. Also, I believe I'll try to remember every car when they were released. I think this guy was released in 2018, but I don't know. I just, I don't follow the minis because they don't sell them here as much. If they did, then of course I would probably know them all by heart, like when they were first released, but it's just too much to know. It's too much to memorize sometimes. He has a low and slow license plate, though, so that's cool. Obviously, the coloring is very different from the 155 scale. Much less metallic. Not really metallic at all anymore. <laughs> but, I don't know. Maybe it's because they were trying to match it to the diecast of Ramon, like, at the time when it came out, 2017. Because this is one, like, this is, like, the upgraded Ramon. They started in 2018. Who got a Chinese and Thailand release? So, I don't know. Many racers have always been made in Thailand, though. Nice gold rims. Very cool. I like his expression. Kind of matches a little bit. Still got the flames and everything on the side. Very nice. Here is Doc, who is looking a bit barren. I'm always used to seeing this uh, fabulous Hudson Hornet version. That's the only one I ever had before. I also had the Christmas version that's just coming out this year, but it doesn't look very nice. I'm not too impressed by it, so we'll have to see. I'll unbox it very soon. Probably I'll probably wait till December, but I'm not really sure yet. I'm feeling in the mood for Christmas time. I did just put on my Christmas tree, both of them, so I may just decide to open it sooner. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, yeah, pretty much the exact same as the Fabulous one, just without all the decals. And comparing him to the 155 scale, you can see it's pretty much the exact same, just miniified. But no red decal on the grill there. Not really as much silver either. Yeah, he's kind of missing out on all the silver. Oh well. Still got some nice white walls a little more intricate you can actually see some like black in between the white walls and the rims so that's kind of a change no red text on the side either the hornet text there oh wow very detailed on the back though that's odd <laughs> what the heck so he has the hudson and hornet decals on the back side on his trunk plus he has his license plate which the die cast has never had it's 51 hhmd so 1951 hudson hornet medical doctor it stands for very, very cool. So yeah, overall, pretty nice three-pack, although I think it's a little boring with Doc and Ramon. You could have kept one of them. I would have kept Doc. Then again, Doc doesn't even really appear in the same scene, the Shaboom scene in Cars, so I don't know. Ramon doesn't appear with this paint job in that scene, so 
kind of a lost cause of a three-pack in my opinion, but it's not that bad, I guess. Cruiser McQueen looks cool. Uh, who are we going to do next? Might as well just move right along with some Cars 2 action. Because that is it for Cars 1 diecast. Now we have Cars 1 Mini Racers. But yeah, we got Mater, Holly Shiftwell, and Professor Z, or Professor Zundap. So cool to see him back, though. I mean, this is a character I never thought they'd do in the Mini Racers line. And just comparing him to the 135 scale diecast of him. I mean, there's really not that much of a size difference. It's funny. I would have thought he would have been much smaller. But no, they really just kept him pretty much the same size. Scaled down a little, obviously. But it's funny, eh? I mean, it's really weird. It almost makes me wonder if they'll ever even do the 155 scale diecast again. Or at least, like, in the next couple of years. Because, I don't know, this one is a pretty nice substitute for it. It almost it looks good, like, even with the 155 scale mater. It's like, it doesn't look that unproportioned, to be honest. I mean, a little bit, obviously. But not as bad as you might think. <laughs> Still got his monocle and everything. Looking very nice. Obviously, this is his first time getting released as a mini. And same expression, like in the mouth. But the eyes are different, which is cool. I'm glad they changed the eyes sometimes. What the heck? He doesn't even have a plastic eye plate. Wow, that is something you don't say too often for mini racers. They almost always had them. That's odd. I think that, or him and the dinos, are like the only ones that don't. What does that say on the side? Z150? I don't know, something like that. It's kind of blurry. What's it say? Maybe we can make it on the diecast. Z, I'm going to take it off camera. Looks like it says Z, Z50. I don't know what the heck <laughs> that means. Bad GA58 on the license plate. Very cool. It's cool how his back trunk opens like that from the side. Windows are kind of grainy, but still pretty nice. This top part here is like almost a carbon copy. Pretty much the exact same size, like his little hair piece. <laughs> make him look like an old... German professor. <laughs> is he German? Yeah, he's German, right? I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or what is he? He has like that German accent. So I think he is. S20 on the date stamp. Very nice. Let's move on to Holly now, though. Holly looks very nice. I love her metallic color that she has. I was kind of surprised that it would be like this metallic <laughs> because it's kind of like a mix of the new Holly, the new variant of her that they just put out. Well, I guess they first put her out in 2022 in the starter pack, but they just released her again. And then kind of like a mix between this and the original 2011 version. But it looks very, very nice. I do like her a lot. Looks cool. Pretty accurate color. I wouldn't say it's the most accurate, but at the same time, probably more accurate than these two. They've always struggled with getting Holly's color right on her die cast, but I think this might actually be the closest one. Oops, that might leave a mark. Hopefully not. No, I don't think so. Looks cool, though. Kind of smaller than I thought she'd be, but still pretty nice. I think like she just looks like a direct scaled-down version of the regular 155 scale die cast. Like, a lot of the minis have these wonky proportions, but Holly just looks like just your classic Holly, just scaled down. Really nice, though. I think this is one of the best minis they've done, probably. I really like her expression. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's just your classic Holly expression, I guess, but it looks a bit more like... I don't know, a little, little, little bit more, like, animated, I'd say, than the expression they usually give her. It's like her eyes are moved up more, which I like. Her mouth is pretty much the same, but I've never really been a huge fan of Holly's die-cast expression, so this one's pretty nice. But, yeah, let's see. Any little decals or anything on her? She doesn't have too many. You got the HS on the side there for her name, of course, Holly Shiftwell. And the license plate, too. They added in HS12... Uh, zero one. A little hard to make out there, but uh, not too blurry, I guess. Holly Shiftwell, twelve oh one. So that'd be December first. Same as the diecast counterpart, the one fifty five scale, of course. But yeah, I like how she has more metal on her, of course. Like um, like no plastic bumper. I mean, Holly usually had a plastic bumper. Even this on this brand new one, she still has the plastic bumper, and the old one had the plastic bumper and the plastic mouth plate. So that always sucked. I hated. When they did plastic mouth plates. Too bad they still do the plastic bumpers sometimes. Yeah, the rims don't look perfect. They're alright. Pretty nice. They just look flat. They don't look very intricate. Mm, where's the date stamp? S20? So they all have been S20 so far, I think. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, she looks very nice. One of my favorite minis, probably. Hoping I can get the Finnick Missile one soon. Hopefully they re-release him eventually. And then here's Mater, of course. Who is just Mater. I'm sure you've all seen a Mater mini racer before. No real need to review him. Just thought I'd show you guys him quickly. Of course, compare him to his 155 scale diecast counterpart. 
Always had a different expression. I actually like it better. Looks more animated because he has eyelids on the bottom and his eyes are like not as high up. So I like that. Toe made her toe and salvage. The toe cable part has always been like a little wonky because it's like so thick. <laughs> Looks a little unrealistic, inaccurate. But oh well. I mean, some of these mini racers, I kind of got to add some weird proportions to them just to make them like fit into the little tiny boxes they put them in, you know. Uh, but some I feel like are bigger than others. Like, put Holly next to Royal Grand Prima Queen. It's like, I don't know, he looks a bit too chunky in the front end, you know, and Holly just looks like a bit too small. Or I don't know if Holly's the problem. I think Holly's perfect, probably, like her size. Um, but maybe McQueen's just a bit too big. I don't know, like some of them. Some of them just don't really match. But actually, McQueen, you stay here because you're going to be the next one we review. We'll do this pack next, of course, with Carla Veloso and... Jeff Gorvet, brand new three pack, looking good. I love the colors with this one. They all just complement each other so well. Reminds me of some of the the old like tw uh, I can't talk. Twenty eleven Cars two multi packs that I remember getting back in the day. This is so cool. I don't have Carla or Jeff. I do have the uh, World Grand Prix McQueen already. So I guess we'll start with Carla. I want to see what she has to offer. And my one thirty five scale counterpart of her. It's not in the best of shape. She's my original one. I never got a Thailand one yet. In fact, I don't think they did her from Thailand yet, did they? They only did the one with the flames, I think, at least. I'm not really sure. Hard to remember. They've done so many Thailand variants now. Uh, but her headlights are, like, falling off, so that's always bothered me. But might have to upgrade to a newer Carla eventually. Hopefully they release her again as 155 scale diecast. But, yeah, I love the colors on her. Looks actually more accurate than the diecast of her, I'd say. Probably, like this, uh, I don't know, it's like more of like a light color rather than like an in-your-face lime green. Like an, I don't know, like that's like an olive green. Kind of ugly, in my opinion. Like it's plastic to the whole like bumper part. So, yeah, I like this better. It's more like light and airy looking. Expression's pretty much the same, but her eyes are giant. That's what I'm talking about. Some of the proportions on the minis <laughs> always just make me laugh because it's like some parts they decide to make huge. Some of the parts they decide to like scale down. You never know what to expect, but she does have her little details there. Number eight, World Grand Prix. She's obviously the Brazilian racer, so that's why she's all full of blue and green. Backside, very intricate and nice. They could have easily just painted all that stuff on, but it is indented, so that's cool. Little circles on her, like they just, they got like the detail down to the T. That is really nice. Wow. Even the rims look very nice and intricate. Still flat, like all mini racer rims are, but... Nice. I like them. World Grand Prix on the spoiler. Very cool. She's almost like a Formula One type car. So she looks nice. I do have Francesco though. So that's my only other World Grand Prix racer that I have as a mini racer. Now I got four, luckily. But he kind of reminds me of Francesco. Much bigger though. Like her head and her wheel wells and everything. Well, Francesco doesn't even have wheel wells. <laughs> what am I saying? Here's Jeff though. And I really like how Jeff Corvette has a brand new expression this is cool like not really at first glance it might look the same uh because his eyes are the same he's still got the snarly eyes but he does have a different mouth a smiling mouth now i like it a lot better actually <laughs> it's nice i've always hated jeff's expression like it's animated it looks good kind of but it just like doesn't work you know like he's always he looks he always looks angry so i didn't really like that even the cars 3 version of him always has the angry face <laughs> but sometimes they decide to change his eyes like on, I think, the Carbon one, the Ice Racer one. So now it's nice that they finally changed his mouth for the Mini Racer of him. Jeff's going to be getting a Color Changers release, too, soon. Color Changers. <laughs> I can't talk. My mouth is just very dry right now. I've been talking for a while, but I'm going to push through. Number 24, of course, on the side. Got the American flag. It just really pops off the yellow. Always loved Jeff's colors. Obviously, he's a Corvette. One of the older Corvettes now. I like this. Like I see these Corvettes around quite a bit where I live, which is cool. More probably than the newer ones. Uh, you can always tell it's like an older one because he's got the two double circular taillights in the back, powered by all in all. World Grand Prix. Every single decal is there. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty crazy that they're able to pack this much detail into such a small car, but cool. I really like the Mini Racers. I really love how Mattel is continuing to put them out too. And not like forget about the line like they did with, well, I don't know. I guess they, they did quite a bit of mini racer or what are they called? Mini adventures and micro drifters back in the day. But I mean, they were plastic, both of those ones. So they just, I don't know. They didn't have like that same wow factor to me. Uh, but here's Lightning McQueen with his racing wheels. 
hate that name. It should be called World Grand Prix McQueen because, I mean, he always has racing wheels, doesn't he? Except for the cruising one. Pretty much, they're always racing wheels, so I don't really get it. Anyways, though, Hudson Hornet, Piston Cup logo on his hood. Nice flames compared to my original one. I think this is the first time he was released in the three pack with Francesco. He definitely looks to be the same in my eyes. <laughs> Not noticing really any differences. Yeah, I did do a video back on them back in the day. I don't think I reviewed them. Just did like an opening showcase type video. But yeah, here he is. Very cool. It does, he is a really cool mini. I can't say anything bad about him. He looks great. By the way, this is obviously Jeff's first release, you know that, but Carla, trying to remember when she was released, I think, mm, I know she was in that uh, big 15-pack uh, with Carbon Shoe, which is a really obscure one. That's a topic for another day, but whatever. <laughs> Talk about him when I get him. Hopefully, I'm able to get him soon. Um, and then I think she was released a year before, so that was, what, last year? And then I think she was released in 2021 for the first time, but I know she was in a 3-pack with Raul. Last year, who was new to the year last year, I don't know, there's so many minis, but other than that, I think it's just Raul, Francesco, and Carbon Racer Shoe, for whatever reason, <laughs> who have mini racers releases. Other than that, I don't think there's any other, uh, what do you call it, any other World Grand Prix racers as minis. So that's kind of odd. Oh wait, I almost forgot, I gotta show you guys uh, World Grand Prix McQueen. Oh no. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but our Collie Shipwell back there just dropped. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I just wanted to compare him to his 155 scale counterpart. But yeah, it's pretty much the exact same. I don't know if this was worth damaging my brand new Holly Shipwell for. I mean, it was my old one from 2011 that fell, but I just opened it, as you guys know, like a month ago. Because <laughs> I got a big Cars 2 diecast lot in and I need to replace mine, but whatever. It's probably ruined now. Oh well, it still looks probably still going to be okay, but yeah, these guys look cool. Comparing them next to each other. Anyways, though, time for Cars 3. Let's get these guys in here. Now, this one actually contains another new car, which is cool. But I'm still more excited about the other three pack off to the side over there with the next gens. So I'll start with this one. Oh, man. Jackson Storm. Rusty's Cruise. What can I say? <laughs> 95. <laughs> Rusty's Cruise. I already have these guys, so I'm not too excited about them. I think I have, like, five Jackson Storm mini racers and probably, like, three Rusty's Cruises. Don't ask me how, but used like back in the day when I used to go to the States in like 2018, 2019, before the Rona times, we used to actually go and get mini racers because they didn't sell them here at some like weird like grocery store places that, you know, just seems odd to have cars in the first place. Like, well, not really like obscure places, but just like Kroger and stuff. But it always surprised me that they had cars because, I mean, it's a grocery store. <laughs> but they always had mini racers. I think they sell them at Target, though, don't they, in the States? I don't think they sell them at Walmart. But yeah, you guys don't care about this Jackson Storm. <laughs> Number 2.0, of course. Or is it 20? We can never really be sure if it's 2.0 or 20. It does have like a dot there, but I don't know if that's supposed to be a dot, like a decimal. Who knows? And then Rusty's Cruise. Actually a cool mini, but I don't know. I already have her, so not too exciting to me. Might as well compare her, though. Same with Jackson Storm. Through her 155 scale counterpart. Oh, look at that. She actually has yellow trim on her rims. I didn't realize that. No light your text, but she does have the yellow trim. <laughs> Isn't that funny? They take one thing away, they add something else. <laughs> the heck. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Plastic spoiler. That's kind of odd. Oh, man. She has a little chip there. That sucks. Actually, yeah, I saw that in the package, so I knew she had that. But oh, well. I don't need any more Rusty's Cruises. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite versions of Cruise, though. Pretty cool. And then Jackson Storm. Snorefest. It always surprises me, though, that he does have a different expression when compared to the 155 scale die cast. <laughs> but, I mean, I actually kind of like it better. It's kind of like an all-purpose expression, whereas this one, he just looks too, like, like a pouty face all the time. You know what I mean? I don't know. He has some nice blue trim on his tires, too, but once again, no light your text, so it's always one or the other. You never expect to get both. <laughs> Here is Lightning McQueen with headset, though. This is actually a really cool one. I like this release a lot. He actually looks nice, I must say. Just a basic Cars 3 Mini Racer McQueen with the headset. But the headset, like, part of it's a plastic piece, like the top part, like the earmuffs and everything, and the top part up there, that is, like, a plastic piece, and this part's, like, like on his body, I guess. It's, like, a part of the main metal body, so that's kind of cool. Nice. I don't think we've ever seen a Mini Racer with the headset before, so I think this is the first time, if I'm not mistaken. Looks good, though. 
I haven't really ever seen many racers with headpieces before, other than Chiefess, who we'll be reviewing soon. It does have the yellow trim on his tires, so yeah, that's a look at that. Now he's got the yellow trim and the lightyear tires, whereas Cruz had only one. <laughs> I guess because they're, oh yeah, the black part, the actual tire, I think is thinner, I think. I'm not really sure. Very nice flames, though. It's just your classic car stream McQueen with the expression difference and the headset, of course. Cool, they changed the expression, though. Looks nice. Very determined looking. Now, you watch. They'll probably do this one as a 155 scale in 2024. I 100% bet he will not have the new expression, but you never know. Maybe he will. Anyways, who are we going to compare next? Oh, I guess I could compare him to the big one here, but it's not really the same one. As you know, we don't have him yet in 155 scale form, but I guess. There you go. <laughs> nice little comparison. But he does not have the yellow trim on the real one. I'm surprised they haven't made that one, that's the classic Cars Dream McQueen, from Thailand yet. I mean, they have, I guess. Never mind. They did do it, but it was like Lightning McQueen with Trophy. So I don't know. I don't really count that, even though I guess it really is technically still the same paint job. This is a really cool pack, though. Ryan inside Laney, Flipped Over, and Barry D-Pedal. I love these guys. I actually just got both of these guys pretty recently, actually. Like, Flipped Over, I guess a year ago now. And Barry, I don't know, when I got him, like, as, as 155 scale diecast, I mean. So, yeah, they're both pretty rare beforehand. Ryan inside Laney's always been pretty easy to find. Obviously based off Ryan Blaney, but I always like this guy. I love his color. I love just, like, the mix of the orange and blue. It's pretty cool. And I like that he's based off a real NASCAR driver, and he has my, my name, Ryan. So, <laughs> that's kind of funny. He's obviously the Blinker Racer, number 21. Cool decals, little like, circles on the side there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess just, like, a shiny... Kind of like gleam, I don't know. <laughs> or is it a snowflake? I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Cool expression. I think it's pretty much the same as the 155 scales expression. Uh, a little different maybe, I don't know. Some of them just look different because they're mini now. <laughs> but I just love all the blue trim. Beautiful scion color. Technically Ryan should be metallic, but whatever. He still looks cool. Beautiful rims too, with the orange trim. Very shocked that they were able to add that in. They probably, like, tried to do it, because they did it on the diecast, too, the 155 scale. They probably did that just because they wanted to look good for Ryan Blaney in real life, but I'm not really sure. I don't have a Thailand one opened up yet, so I might have to open one up soon. Ryan's got a lot of variants, a lot of Thailand variants. He's got one as a unibody, one with the eye plate, so <laughs> I don't get it. I think he's even got, like, a couple of Chinese ones, too. Very nice. Got his rookie racing straights back there. No, <laughs> no window bars, but then again, neither does this one. This is the original 2017 Chinese one. Why am I showing the base? No one wants to see that. I meant to show this base. <laughs> SO2. Well, that's different. The other ones, did I even show the other bases? I think. I think they were all the same. I forgot to check the date stamps. Oh, well. <laughs> They're so small. It doesn't even really matter if I show the bases or not, but I like to, just in case you want to see the date stamps, know when they were made. Here is flipped over, though. He looks awesome. <laughs> the intersection racer, of course. Uh, what is it? Number zero zero. <laughs> That's funny. Unfortunately, mine looks to be chipped there. It's like the white on him got a little chip, so you see the pink. But pink does look nice, so I guess I can't complain. <laughs> got the little crossroads going through. They meet like a little heart in the front because that's what intersection is. It's supposed to be like a dating app for cars, I guess. <laughs> kind of funny. Nice white rims, or not white rims, got black rims, almost like brown looking, almost, or gray. Uh, but then like white trim, I meant to say. Nice expression, different than the die cast. Where is the die cast over here? Uh, well, not really different, different than this Thailand die cast, but not different from the original Chinese one, which is super rare, obviously, only released in the Next Gen Racers 4 pack. Once again, no window bars. I just love the design. It's really, really cool. It's really cool to see, like, when they're next to each other, the Mini and the 125 scale, to see them, because flipped over, especially, because I never would have thought I'd have either of them. Luckily, they did re-release them, though, in 2022, and they gave them a new expression. So that was cool. I was very shocked when they did that, but I figured they would eventually. I just didn't know how they do it or when they do it, but I'm glad that they did eventually do it. S08 for this date stamp. What the heck's going on? Six weeks after... <laughs> Ryan inside Laney over there. Anyways, though, here's Barry DePedal. Got RPM logos all over, of course. RPM, what does that stand for? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting what RPM stands for. 
I should know. I forget. I just I just remember. Like someone just told me recently too. Number sixty four though. I love his color, the purple, the lavender, and then the orange and the little bit of black too. It's very cool. It looks nice. Let's get his one fifty five scale die cast out. Here it is. Looking very cool. A little bit of a different expression. It looks like they tried to make it the same though. A little bit like a of a more like raised hump on the left eyelid there. So kind of interesting. Pretty much the same though, like the same mouth, I think. Yep. Yeah. Checks out. I don't know if they usually change expressions for the minis all that much. Very cool though. I like this one a lot. Looks nice. It's one of those minis though that kind of just look exactly the same, just scaled down, of course. <laughs> like even the proportions look pretty much the same with this model of next gen. Um, but still, pretty nice. I like this one a lot. It's cool to have. He used to be kind of rare. Not really anymore. They release them pretty much every year as a 155 scale die cast. And I think same goes with the mini racer, I think. I think flipped over though. I think he was released. He was in that 15 pack with Carbon Shoe last year. And then I think he was first released, possibly 2021. So that seems to be the trend. Like Ryan inside, like he gets released all the time. There, I think he gets released pretty much all the time too. Because, of course, other than the three packs, they had the blind boxes too. They used to be blind bags, but now they're blind boxes. They have been for a long time, actually, so nothing new. Um, but yeah, it seems to be a trend where they make the car as a mini racer one year. And the next year, you can expect that same car as a 155 scale die cast you know like it seems to happen all the time because i think this guy was first released as a mini in 2021 and the following year we got him as a 155 scale die cast in 2022 same deal with damage to king he was released as a mini in 2021 then again in 2022 and i think it's the same case for a lot of these guys not carla unfortunately but she was technically released from thailand before i think jeff i guess technically yes uh, well, I guess if he gets released next year, but he's gotten Thailand variants before. But let's think of one that hasn't gotten a Thailand variant, like Professor Z, for example. I could definitely see them releasing Professor Z next year as a 155 scale diecast because obviously they just did him as a mini. So it's possible. It's my theory. Not really theory. It's just kind of fact. <laughs> that is what they do. They tend to do that a lot. Um, but yeah, you never know. Wouldn't that be cool, though, if we ended up getting Professor Z as a 155 scale diecast next year? in 2024 i mean it's almost next year now we're in november now so yeah you never know but a lot of these cars get released as 155 scale die cast a lot uh but yeah what one's your favorite let me know guys i think mine's probably gonna have to be hmm i don't know i kind of want to go with professor z i think i'm gonna I, I like professor z i think mostly because of like the obscure factor and the fact that they haven't done them as a 155 scale die cast in 12 years that definitely Adds to his likability for me. Uh, but I don't know. Eddie McQueen with headsets awesome too. Holly Shiflow looks really cool. I like them all. I'm going to put Holly actually in the front. Because I just think she looks very nice. Put my favorite ones in the front. So yeah, you get out of here, McQueen. <laughs> uh, man, I really like Carla. I'm not sure. I guess Ryan inside lane. You go back there. You're not quite as cool as <laughs> uh, McQueen with his headset. Because he is new. But yeah, they're all very nice. I mean, except for these guys back here. I could have lived without seeing them probably but other than that they're all pretty nice minis i like them a lot the mini racers line is a lot of fun and yeah i think that's all i have to say for today guys i'm pretty tired of talking i've been talking for like 30 minutes straight so i'm gonna go probably get some water so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you did down below thank you guys so much for watching i know it was a long one uh if you're still here you made it through the entire video thank you very much very much appreciated and yeah, leave me a comment below letting me know which mini out of all these is your favorite. I'll be pretty surprised if anyone doesn't say either Flip or Professor Z, but you know what? <laughs> if someone just likes Mater a lot, they might say Mater or Jackson Storm. I mean, who knows? You never know what to expect. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next time real soon on the Cars Garage.